Yo, the more I made, the more I saved. We're going to go on and dive into this tip money real quick. We're going to get that count started, all right? With the 50s, the hundos, the 10s, the tweezies, the fives, the ones, and all that, right? But before we get that going, what we got to do is we got to dive into this envelope stuffing, all right? We definitely got to fill y'all in on where everything is standing, all right? I'm a little late to the party, but it is what it is. Y'all know, as long as you get it in, especially before the next payday, right? Next payday's in like a couple days. But um, especially before you get it in before next payday, bro, you Gucci. You Gucci, don't worry about it. All right, check me out. Y'all already know the categories. Y'all already know what we're going to dive into. Every time I dive into it, I like to talk a little bit about it, you know, where we stand, where everything is at. Other than that, we're going to talk about this money count right here, all right? This is two days in tips, all right? It's probably one of my best two days in a long time, right? Because they've been bringing in more goons, bro. Like, it's a lot of more, a lot more goons that have been coming on the team, and I'm like, yo, the money count don't, it don't, the tip money don't look the same, bro. Why? Because we got a lot more heads on the, little, on the squad, you know what I'm saying? So when you add, like, one or two more heads, and it's time to break bread, it really starts eating into what you would actually get, all right? So back in the day, right, somewhere around about a week ago, it was Gucci. Now, yeah, it's all right, but in the last few days, it's been it's been looking good. So we're going to dive into that money count, right, real fast, all right? But before that, we're going to talk about money confidence, right? That's going to come at the end of the show, which I usually do. Y'all know I like to do my little chit-chat or whatever, but I'm gonna dive into like money confidence. We're gonna talk about what it's like to walk the streets with a hundred with a hundo in your pocket or a hundo in the bank, you know, how that feels. And we'll talk about what it feels like to have like a thou, right? A little stack, a little, you know what I'm saying, a little band or something like that. Five bands. We'll talk about that later on at the end of the show, right? So this is it. Check me out. Before we get all that going, let my man Thirsty get a little closer to the bread. He's real close, right? But he's not there yet. We're going to dive into this envelope stuffing first off. All right? Now, where we stand on the envelope stuffing, I like to brief everybody on how I actually do my envelope stuffing. I do not stuff the cash inside of the envelope. I know I say this every video, but it's newbies that's coming in. So I got to let y'all know what's up. I do not stuff my envelopes with cash like a lot of the other channels do, all right? I don't really like going into the bank, out the bank, you know, strictly for that sole purpose. I've gone to the bank and out the bank for other purposes, but I don't want to do it for that, right? I like to do it digitally, all right? I call it digitally when it's written down on paper, and then I do that joint right here on the phone, you know what I'm saying? And what I do is I just wire the funds straight from one account to the next, and then what I do on paper is I make sure I write everything down so whatever is written on paper adds up to whatever funds is transferred over in the account. So let's get it going. Y'all know how we do it. Before we dive into it, we always talk about the topics. All right? We always talk about the topics because you got to re-remind yourself why are you even saving money. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? So check this out. We're going to start it off, jump that joint off with birthdays. All right? So birthdays, I know how y'all, y'all, if you've been checking my channel, y'all know what it is. Birthdays for me right now, we Gucci. Why? Because all the birthdays have already passed, right? Wifey, two kids, a lot of the other important family members that you usually buy presents for, that's already done, swept under the rug. So we're going to continue stacking the bread on birthdays. But being that, you know what I'm saying, birthdays is already gone. It's nothing urgent right now. The way that I do my envelopes is all of this money is meant to be touched next year. So we're going to go ahead and throw, man, I'm going to throw a little 10, a little 10 ski on there. You know what I'm saying? Just because that's probably something that's manageable based on what I got paid that's damn near like two weeks ago. But based on what I got paid, it looks like $10 on the birthday funds is probably exactly what I want to do. But I, what, what I need to do is double check these dates. Hold up. Let me um let me look at the dates. So damn, I'm way, way off right now. So we're talking about July 9th. Alright. Today is like 21st. So we 21st. Yeah. So we 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 way off as far as like being on top of it. But I need y'all to know and understand. Sometimes you might get to your budget in and your finances a little after the fact. 
as long as you're on top of your A game, you'll know if you need to get on top of your financing the day after the same hour you just got paid. You'll know if you need to get on top of that. If you got funds in the bank, you got your, you know what I'm saying, your, your little transfers wiring properly, things are going accordingly, and you don't really have to worry about it to that degree. You can just fall back and let things kind of happen, and then you get back to your finances when you do, kind of like what I'm doing right now. So what I'm touching base on is July 9th, and what we're going to look at is how much money are we actually going to put into the birthday funds. I'm going to go ahead and touch down with like, I did 15 last time. So let's just go ahead and do 15 again. All right. I don't really like to go back on my, on my funds. If ever I up it to 15, I never really like to go back to 10 or back to five. That makes it in my mind. So that is somewhat of a setback. I like to always go up or maintain the same numbers. So as of right now, I think the 15 is cool. We're going to run with the 15. All right. So birthdays, what I went ahead and did is I did July 9th and then I went ahead and wrote in 15. All you want to make sure is that whatever is written down actually matches what whatever you're wiring into the account. All right. So whoop de whoop, we got 15. All right. So on this, we got miscellaneous. So with miscellaneous, Y'all know how I do miscellaneous, right? It's just, I mean, it's whatever goes. It's really that joint where you just, you know what I'm saying? You pull up to a spot and you like, yo, I had no idea I was going to spend any bread, any funds, anything like that. And you happen to see something that's on, on sale. It's looking like exactly what you need, not something that you want. It's exactly what you need. So you say, hey, look, listen, I'm going to go ahead and touch down with that miscellaneous account. And I'm going to see if I could go ahead and get whatever I'm looking at and just make things happen. You know what I mean? Just cause you might have that little sum that you really, really want to get outside of the other stuff that we already set aside envelopes for, right? The clothes, the sneakers, all that. This is really the miscellaneous. It's just that random, like, yo, damn, I didn't really see this, you know? But you saying to yourself, I think I want to buy it though. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at July 9th. And um, it looks like since the last time I did anything for the miscellaneous, it was right at $10. I'm going to leave it right at $10. All right. You got the little 10 ski right there. So you seeing it right there, July 9th, $10. Simple and plain. All right. I see a lot of channels. You know, they got fancy calculators and all that. On this channel right here, if you rock with me, you know what it is, right? We out here, we trying to budget and save money. So if you asking me to spend bread on like a calculator or like anything of that nature or something that I could get like randomly on my phone. I'm not trying to hate on nobody's hustle, but at the same time, it's like I'm out here trying to save money, right? So I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to easiest, quickest route. I'm living like a minimalist. So if you asking me to buy something that I already have, I don't know, it's it's not gonna make sense to me. It's not gonna make sense to me. If you got some binders or something like that, you know, some joints that I don't have, I don't got the binders locked. You know what I'm saying? Like I see the little other channels do. They flip it through the binders and they got the glitter and all that. I don't got the glitter and all that. I got a little envelope joints. You know what I'm saying? I bought it for like $3.99 and I got like a hundo in, in the whole box. But I, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying we out here trying to save money, right? We're not trying to buy what we already have. I'm just saying that don't make sense to me. But y'all know what it is. Miscellaneous. We're going to drop the 10 on that. And then we're going to move on. So let's talk about the family funds. So when we talk about the family funds, listen, if y'all have a family, y'all probably have one of these. All right? If you don't have one of these, bro, <laughs> yo, what you doing, bro? Trust me. Wifey going to look at you a whole nother way if you got a little joint. You don't even need the other envelopes. You just need this sitting on the sidelines like that. Like, yeah, baby, I got the um little family funds on the side, you know. And then, boom, it'd be like, whoop de whoop. I already know what it is. This man is extra caring and, you know, he's all that. So, trust me, get one of these, bro. If this is the only envelope you got, get one of these. All right? If you got wifey and kids and all that, trust me, you're going to get a lot of points, bro. So, with the family funds, all right, the numbers is not all the way up, but I'm going to just, man, listen. I'm going to go ahead and up it up, right? Because last time it looks like what I contributed towards the family funds was $10. I'm going to go ahead and jump that joint up to 15 Why not, right? So we got 7-9 right here, July 9th. And we got the 15 $15. Let's move on. So we got groceries. 
Listen, I told y'all how this works, right? This doesn't necessarily mean that I do not buy groceries because remember, all these envelopes is meant to be touched in a year. It doesn't mean I don't buy groceries. At the moment, what I'm doing is I'm budgeting and financing all the expenses for groceries is coming directly from the checking account. That's not something that I'm actually considering right now. What I'm looking to do is stack aside some bread. So when I roll around to 2022, remember, I always think in the future. So when I roll around to like 2022, either I'm going to hit up the grocery store and pull from this fund, like pull like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to pull up to the grocery store ready to spend like a hundo, but I'm going to pull like $20 from this fund right here every time I go just to know Every time I went, because of what I saved, I knocked off a little something when I went in there, right? And that'll give me an idea that the money on the sidelines, like right here, that I'm, you know what I'm saying, the little envelopes, they're not being touched. All of this is psychological, you know what I mean? It's all in the mind, right? So you got to keep in mind that at the end of the day, you're going to have some crazy ways of how you save and the, the, the loops you jump through, the ins and outs, this, that, and the third. But at the end of the day, if we hitting the same goal, we Gucci, all right? If we end up with five stacks stay saved up and you 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 did your little grocery stores at eight o'clock at night under harsh conditions, only after it rained, whatever the, you know what I'm saying? The situation is that you actually doing, as long as we get to the same goal, we good. Groceries, we gonna go ahead and tap in. Man, let's do $10. We're going to do the little 10 ski on that. All right. We got to, you know what I'm saying? Run with the sneakers. All right. So what I really need y'all to know and understand that every day and every time that I get closer to the, to the goal that I have in mind, I start seeing these things. It's harder to buy. I don't know if all y'all are on the same page with me. It's like after you get a little bit more money, you're like, damn, do I really want sneakers? Then you get a little bit more money. You're like, damn, I really want sneakers? And then you get a little bit more and you're like, damn, I'm going to just roll with the joints with like the half sole and the hole at the top. You know what I'm saying? So with the sneakers, what I'm saying to myself is like, yo, what do I want to pull up and purchase immediately? And what that cost might be. You know what I'm saying? Probably like $100. I'm a Nike fiend. So if you throw me some Air Max 90s, some easy, some uptown, something easy to, you know what I'm saying? $70, $75. I could roll with that. But when you're talking like $150, I start squinting my eyes, rubbing my beard and all that, wondering, is this a real purchase I want to make? So what I say is when you touch down with sneakers, you know what I'm saying? Keep a little four or five hundred. So if you need to cop like two, three colors, you Gucci with a little bit more extra in the bank and you don't have to touch the initial funds that you're going to start stacking in 2022. Check me out on sneakers. What we're going to do is we're going to do July July 9th, right? And then we going, um, man, sneakers ain't all that right now. We're going to do 10. We're going to do 10. Maybe we'll up it up like later on as we get closer, right? To the time where we're about to cop them joints. Yeah, I'll probably up them funds up way more than what you're seeing right here. But as of right now, I'm not copping right now, bro. I Yo, I can show you my kicks, bro. Let, man, yo, y'all playing with me, right? Hold up. I'm about to, I'm about to get the kicks, bro. I'm about to get the kicks. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo, listen. I'm telling y'all right now, right? If you bought this bread, bro, listen. If you bought this bread, check me out, bro. I think I paid like a hundred... Like, Maybe like 70, 80, 90, or 100 dollars for these, right? But I copped them like a few years ago. But check this out. I never seen no joints do this. The back like ripped out. So what I do, bro, because I'm not copping kicks, bro. I got my mind set on a goal and I'm not copping kicks. I told wife, wife, he was like, yo, I'm saying though, when we be pulling up to places, you be looking like I'm like, yo, little fall back. Listen. In a year, right, we're going to be Gucci. As of right now, we're going to roll with these joints, all right? I had to crazy glue the front because the front was coming out. So I had to crazy glue that joint. So I crazy glued it. 
Because it was going to be an extra like $50, right? That's, that's 50 behind what I'm trying to get to. So I'm not trying to see that right now. And then I had this joint right here where like this came out. It like it ripped, bro. I don't know if y'all understand. It's supposed to be like locked in. It's supposed to be like connected. But it's ripped. Like, so what I do is I wear all black socks. <laughs> Yo, for real. Yo, for real, for real. That's facts, bro. I wear all black socks. And I be walking around. Nobody don't really be knowing. I mean, they look twice like them. Oh, is this man's feet out right now? And it's like, nah, bro, you just seeing things. We black on black on black. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm talking about. It's like, yo, listen, when you ready, when you out, you ready to like cop your kicks, whatever, you making sure that like how much funds you have sitting in the bank is enough funds that like when you cop your kicks, you got a little extra something left over, right? We don't want to go on zero. That's the idea at the end of the day. But that's what I'm talking about. Yo, you ride it out. Till it has, you know, till the end, you know what I'm saying? Till the joints fall off your feet. As of right now, these kicks right here, you know what I'm saying? They they not falling off, so we're gonna keep rocking them. If we could go crazy glue it, we could wear black socks to not let y'all know that they got holes in my black on black on blacks. That's what we're gonna do at the moment. That's what I'm talking about, bro. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. So what we talking about for sneakers right now is 7, 9, January 9th. As of the last paycheck, we're going to contribute $10. All right? Let's get it. Clothes. Y'all know what it is, man. I'm already sitting on a good bit of clothes. Why? Because I was copping a bunch of clothes being broke. Being broke, I was copping a bunch of clothes. So all little gear you see me with, whatever little drip I got on. Bro, listen. When I was copping all this, I didn't have no money. I had a little hundo, two hundo, maybe a stack, right? And I blow all of it without even thinking or considering what I could actually be if I stacked it. You know what I mean? So I seen money come and go. So when it comes down to clothes, I'm sitting on a good bit of clothes. So I'm always thinking and considering not contributing the most. I'm still going to put in something, you know what I'm saying? But not going to contribute the most towards clothes just because clothes in itself is something that I already have. And that's the idea that I need y'all to grasp. It's things that you already have, such as the sneakers, regardless of the condition. You got to remember up here, it's, it's a mental confidence that you have. When I'm walking around with, with holes in my, my kicks and all that, and I got five racks in the bank, and we're not talking about five racks, emergency funds, bro. We talk about five racks, bro, I could go blow the five racks and my life don't change. My life don't change after I blow the five racks. You know what I'm saying? It's a real five racks. It's not the E-funds. It's not, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was trying to get. That's why the channel was created. I started to think it was real interesting in the fact that I was able to stack this much bread just based off the tip money. I live off my checks. The whole channel is pure tip money. It's all tip money. You know what I'm saying? So just with that being said, the idea in mind is to stack, stack, stack. And get to where you need to be. You know what I mean? Don't get held up on something that's just not going to get you to your goal. Listen, when we're talking about clothes, if you already have them joints, don't worry with buying more unless you got a little interview or something like that. You're like, look, man, I don't got the proper drip and I need to go ahead and get it right. Go ahead and get the right drip. So I go ahead and get this interview started, popping, and I want to get the job. You know what I'm saying? So if you got a little something on your clothes and yo... Make sure you cop that little blazer, some some serious for that interview. So you're going to get your job, right? Remember, interviews, jobs, that's all a first investment before you get your own company going, before you get your own investments running, before you get it all up and running and popping. A lot of people resort or rely on a job to get that up and running. If that be your case, similar to mine right now, um, Y'all know what it is. We ain't doing this nine to five forever. Y'all know we ain't, we ain't, we just don't sit aside and just stack bread. We invest, we invest in businesses. We push this bread ski to a whole nother level. So what we talking about right now, July 9th, I'm gonna go ahead and drop $10. I ain't talking nothing serious right now. We're gonna do 10 on it, all right? Next up, we got gas. Hey, let's get it. Reason why I like to focus on gas is mainly because my commute to work it's a lot longer than a lot of other people. Some people pulling up, you know what I'm saying? Job or workplace in like five minutes. For me, it takes like 45 and with enough traffic, 
It could be a good hour or hour and change. So with that being said, I like to make sure I have a little envelope set aside for gas. If ever I fall on hard times, the last thing I want to do is rely on my actual savings for gas money or rely on another account that I have set aside for something else for gas money. So I created a gas envelope. And with the gas envelope, this is going to actually put us in a position. If ever we fall on hard times, we don't have the funds. We fall on this gas envelope if need be, and we'll be able to get the tank on F ASAP. All right. Seven, nine, we're going to drop $10 in there. Y'all know what it is. Let's keep it moving. So over here, I got personal, right? We're going to talk about personal real fast. We're going to breeze through it. It ain't nothing. Personal is really based on you. I'm telling you right now, you're going to have some. This is not miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is like, yo, I just seen something at the store. Like that look real nice on my son. So I'm going to go ahead and cop it. All right, boom, rely on the miscellaneous envelope. Or you might see something for wifey. Boom, rely on the miscellaneous. Or even if you see something for yourself, you can still rely on that miscellaneous envelope. But the personal envelope is made, made solely for you and you only. So that's for your own goods, your own purposes, and whatever you have going on. I'm sure you have something personally that you want to purchase. And with that being said, Whatever that purchase might be, depending on the cost, whether it be high or low, will dictate or tell if you want to put more or less funds within this right here. All right? For me, on a personal level, I'm not really like that. I know I don't really see myself personally getting a lot of gifts and all the extra. I like to give a lot to my kids, my wife, and give back to everybody else. You know what I mean? That's just how I roll. And with that being said, on the personal end, I don't give too much. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in the same amount that I did the last time, which was $10. So we're going to drop $10 on the personal. We got July 9th at $10. All right, let's keep it moving. We dropping things. Y'all know what it is. We're going to dive into trips and vacay. All right, trips and vacay. This is a real personal type of envelope because I know people that do not do no vacations. They vacations is like, yo, I'm going to be at the crib. I'm not going to work for like two, three days. I'm going to cop a few brews. I'm going to get my little tree. I'm going to get my smoke on, my drink on, and we're going to live it up. That's vacate for a lot of people I know, right? I like to pull up to other spots, just, you know what I'm saying, out of the state, out of the country. So I already know the funds got to be on point when it comes down to the vacay. As of right now, I don't really feel like dropping in a lot, but I know sometime in the near future, I'm going to definitely look to invest a lot of money into this envelope right here because I want to make sure when I take the family out, we Gucci, we good, we out, we living, and ain't nothing, you know what I'm saying, stopping us in anything that we want to do when we out and about, all right? So with trips and vacay, we're going to go ahead and say 7-Eleven or 7-9, I keep saying 11, 7-9, we're going to go ahead and drop in the 10 and 10 is, like I said, it's a little bit right now. We're working on these envelopes. All right? We work on them. And over time, it's going to look much better. But as of right now, the 10 is all I got. Let's roll with that. And let's see if we could dump in more as time moves on. Let's move on to wife. Yo, y'all know what it is, man. I tell y'all all the time. Y'all want points? Yo, yo, sit this joint. Yo, sit this joint right in your bathroom, right? Y'all got the his and her sink. Are y'all on that level yet? Y'all know about that? The his and her sink is when two sinks is in the bathroom. They call it his and her sink. So, yo, put that joint right in the middle. Like, yo, it's a 50-50 thing. I'm trying to do a little bit of you. I'm trying to do a little bit of me. You know what I'm saying? Put that joint right there on the sink. Let wifey see that. Bro, you're going to get a happy wife every time she's leaving for work. She's going to look down like, damn, my man is stacking bread for me. He got a, his own separate account. Just It's not like your birthday come. And you're like, damn, wifey, birthday come. Hmm. What do I need to cut back on? How much money do I need to save? Damn, how much, how much can I not do because I need to go ahead and cop wifey's gift? That's what a lot, comes across a lot of people's minds. Unless you already prep. You got wifey already knowing, waiting, sitting there talking about, yeah, I already know I'm getting something nice. I already know. And what you really going to make look good is when the envelope says you got like $40 calculated, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because she's going to look at the funds. She's going to look at the funds. Like, let me see how much he's actually putting on me. You know what I'm saying? 
She gonna want to see a lot, right? She's gonna look down and be like, "Damn, it's only forty dollars. You only got forty dollars worth for me and my gift. You know what I'm saying? My happiness and what I have going on, other than the other stuff." And when you come out, like, "Yo, yeah, the envelope said forty, but I went ahead and I got like an extra like eighty from the bank and my savings, and I matched it up, and I managed to get you this. Boom, you whip it out, bro." She's going to be on a whole nother level because she's seeing you trying not only hard, but you're trying extra hard. But yo, it's ain't a relationship channel, man. Don't let me go too far into that. All we're going to talk about right now is funds and wifey. So as of right now, we're talking about wifey. We're going to contribute. Last time I did 20 and you know I'm a man of my word. So I got to keep the numbers up. We're going to talk about a 20 again. All right. Seven, nine, twenty dollars. Easy money. All right, next up, we got Christmas. Y'all know what it is. I already told y'all, listen, on Christmas, I'm already debating if I'm going to drop these funds into the, you know what I'm saying, into the box this Christmas or if I'm going to keep this joint rolling till next Christmas. Now, if I keep this joint rolling till next Christmas, we Gucci. I'm not going to have to touch no funds if I run these numbers up until next year. But if I manage to touch this, this year is probably going, you know what I'm saying, it's going to help with the expenses that I might, you know what I'm saying, work up to. I don't think this is going to really hold down the fort with a wife and two kids on Christmas Day. They, they they got a lot of wants when it comes down to Christmas, and I like to make sure they have that as part of life. Y'all know what it is. Christmas, we're going to go ahead and dump um, $10. And I'm only saying 10 because as of right now, we're just going to continuously dump the amounts that we can Everything is going to get serious when we touch down in 2022. That's when we're going to start dropping like $50, $70, something serious towards these funds so we can run the numbers up because we're getting closer to the goal. And the last but not least, we have eating out. All right? For those of y'all out there who eat out, there's different levels of eating out, right? Some of y'all eat out. Some of y'all like to hit up the Chinese store down the block. You know what I'm saying? Cop your little four chicken wings and fried rice. And, and that's how y'all eat out. If that's how you do it, whoop de whoop, you know what I'm saying? Do your thing. I understand. Some of y'all like to hit up the corner store, get your little hero or whatever. That's cool too. However you do, that's you. I like to pull up to spots where I like to, you know what I'm saying? It's fine dining. So I get a little waitress come over, ask me about a water with lemon and all that. And I like to usually request a drink, a little something to get wifey going. And that's how I do. So when you talk about eating out, it's not something that everybody does. And when you talk about everybody, when you dealing with the masses, you're not dealing with levels because some people got levels to it. Some people pull up to the local Zaxby's, McDonald's, whoop de whoop, and eating out is dining in in them little restaurants. If that's what you do, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I do that ever so often. Ain't no problem. But when I'm talking about eating out, we talking about getting out there and fine dining bro when you got to drop a tip it ain't mcdonald's where you you know what i'm saying you just get up and leave you could even leave the trash on the table and it ain't no thing i'm talking about fine dining but yeah you do leave your stuff right there why because a bus boy is going to come around and pick up the um the little tray or whatever and then you have a little waiter that needs to be blessed when it when you're talking about tips i live by tips so you already know i'm looking out eating out i always try to make sure these funds is high why because the places you eat out Bro, trust me, if you eating out and you running up that bill to like two, three hundred dollars, it's going to be a nice place, right? You're going to get nice service. Everything is going to be cool. But when you're talking about eating out and you, you, yo, you ordered damn near half the menu, but the bill only ran up to like a hundred dollars or like fifty dollars. I'm telling you, something's going to be wrong in that spot. Either the, 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 the you know, what I'm saying the service not going to be there. Or the quality is not going to be there. So that's something to always look out for. When it comes down to eating out, make sure you contribute a lot of funds. Because the more you pay in the restaurant that you're actually eating out at, in a lot of cases, not in all, but in a lot of cases, it ends up being the same return when it comes down to service, quality of food, and everything else that comes with your experience. So y'all keep that in mind when it comes down to it. But when we talk about eating out, I ain't doing nothing fancy. I'm talking about... Um, the same thing I did last time. So we're going to look at $10. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run through all of the funds. All right. We're going to run through each one and we're going to calculate exactly how much more I'm contributing so we could actually add that number up and we put it all together. So now let's run through it. Got my calculator out. 
you know, the one I pay a few racks for, because a phone is a phone is a phone. It's gonna get you what you need. Um, so we got eating out first up. I went ahead and I dropped ten dollars on eating out, you know. So we're gonna set that one aside. All right, Christmas. I want to show you how simple expenses are, and this happened to be a little bit longer in the process. Why? Because I gotta whip out the video. I gotta whip out the camera. I got thirsty on my side. I got the bread ski out on deck. Y'all already know it requires a little bit of extra if you're doing a whole video and all. But if it comes down to you just budgeting and setting up your expenses, it's not really something that you got to worry about when it comes down to it. If you're looking at time, you just got to make sure however much you set out, like let's say you do 30 minutes, 30 minutes is all you ever really need to contribute. And then that's what you always want to hold yourself accountable for every time you sit down and do your expenses. So let's look at this. I already said we got eating out at $10, right? We got Christmas. So we're going to add 10. So we got 10 plus 10. We got Christmas, and then boom, we got wifey, plus 20. Then we got trips and vacay, plus 10. Then we got personal, plus 10. Then we got gas, looks like that's 10. Then we got clothes, that's 10. Then we got the sneakers, that's 10. Then we got groceries, that's 10. Family funds, I decided to put 15. We got miscellaneous. That's 10. And then we got birthdays. That's 15. So we got a buck 40. All right, so a buck 40 is the total amount. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on this envelope right here. We got 140. I'm gonna show y'all how I, how I do this. I'm going to go into my checking account, right? The same account that the direct deposit is going into. You want to make sure you're doing direct deposit or if you're dealing with a certain bank, most of them require 15 hundo inside your account in order for you to reduce um, any penalties or fees. Make sure that doesn't happen. Either have 15 hundo in your account or you make sure you have direct deposit. Depending on which bank, it'll either be $250 or $500 that needs to be deposited directly every week or two or whatever the, the, the bill cycle is. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wire the funds from my account over into a particular account. I told y'all in a few videos ago, said I got a particular account that I went ahead and I opened up just for the envelopes. So I'm going to take the money from my check-in and I'm gonna wire it straight into that account. All right, I'm gonna show y'all how quick and simple that is. I'm not showing y'all on cam, but I'm going to go ahead and do it right here so you can go ahead and see. So you get on there, it's going to ask your username. And then you get a little passcode joint. After you plug in the info or whatever, go ahead and dive in. All right, cool, woo -de -woo. Everything looks Gucci on the account. I'm liking what I see. I know I got $140 calculated that needs to be transferred over to the the account that particularly deals with mainly the envelopes all right so boom i'm going to take i'm gonna click the account and this is just mainly the bank i'm working with right now um i don't know if i'm gonna get more accounts i'm working on that um as of right now that's something that i'm interested in and i'll tell y'all why in a different video so i'll let y'all know if i end up opening up another account why and what the reason is behind it in most cases it's going to be for a financial benefit or whatever else i could benefit from it's not just to open an account you know what i'm saying i ain't got no time for that but um check me out what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take the joint from the check-in and i'm gonna toss it into the um into the savings and what we're gonna do is um, 
we're going to make sure the funds is in right now. As we sit down and do our budgeting, we want to make sure the funds is in now. All right, so cool. To the amount. So you enter the amount, you hit transfer, you hit next, and then boom. Ain't no thing. It's already done. You hit done. Done deal. We done. We over. All right? What I wanted to do before we get going, this is two days of tip money. Let me go ahead and count this joint, and then I think I'm going um, to talk to y'all real quick. All right? A little quick five minutes or whatever. We got a little bread ski on the line, right? I ain't coming to y'all with no envelopes and markers and don't got the bread on deck. So we already know right here, I got more than even what I was going to stack. I ain't playing with y'all. Y'all already know. You know what I'm saying? So the last couple days, it's been crazy, right? And I say that because we have not been as busy as we usually are. Now, what I noticed is there's been more heads, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video. There's been more heads, which I'm, ain't nobody always cool with that, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Don't let those circumstances interfere with what you could actually manifest. So regardless of how many heads is in the building, I noticed over off top, you know what I'm saying? Tip money ain't really like it used to be, obviously, because there's more people, right? So as business starts to escalate, we slowly start to see some of the money we, we used to see back in the day. All right, back in the day, we talking about like a month ago. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and dive into what I made in the last two days, just because even I'm curious. I put the money aside. I always line it up. It ain't no thing, but I don't count it. You know, I like to just set it aside. So boom, right there. We got a hundo, 20, 40, 60, 80. That's a hundred right there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's 300. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, I skipped over 1, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all right, that's what's up. So what we did in the last two days is $97, up oh, $97, $397, $1, $2, $3, $97, all right? We got a few minutes left. I'm only going to let the show rock for like three more minutes. But before we finish, I want to talk about money confidence and what this means, all right? I want to let y'all know and understand that money confidence is something that you can never really talk about to somebody else. And I say that because it's a feeling that you get every time you stack your bread every time you hit a milestone, and every time you get to a new or higher point, you feel a different way. And that's the one thing I could say initially that I feel overall is when I've stacked my first hundo, right? I had a feeling I used to walk into like certain grocery stores. I used to walk into certain places and I would look and understand that there's certain things that I could buy with, it, with ease. You know, when, when we say with ease, that means that your bills are gonna be paid, all your expenses and things outside of that hundo is gonna be paid for and the hundo's still gonna be sitting down. When I would walk into a place and notice I could buy certain things it would make me feel real good, really, really good. The fact that I could walk into a grocery store, look at, look at all the candy and know, even though those are only a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars, maybe three is, uh, and plus, I could buy all of it, two and three, four times over. So that started to work on my mind and mentality and I started to put my, my two and two together and I started to stack more bread so I could feel this way about different things, different circumstances. And what I started to notice is as my bread started to stack more, which we all know based on my last video, we're sitting somewhere around seven and change. With this three right here, it's damn near eight. So y'all can see an 8K video coming very, very soon. I started to notice that I started to walk the streets and see different things that I could cop, that I could buy. You know what I mean? I would walk through the mall and I would see the, the kicks for like a hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying, two hundred dollars, and I would really notice that with all the money that I had, because of this money confidence and motivation that I would have, because of what's sitting down, it would give me this this feeling where I walk with my chest up, where I was I was different, you know what I'm saying. I remember back in the day, and I say back in the day, just dated back a few months ago, even dated to like last year, and I would dodge a lot of expenses, I would dodge a lot of bills. I would see certain things and it just wasn't appealing to me. I would walk into a store like Target or something, you know what I'm saying, where things are costing anywhere between 99 cents and all the way up to like $700 you would get a TV for. With the money that I sit on right now, I could buy all that. 
I could buy all that maybe two times over. But what starts to work on my mind and mentality is the fact that I could not only buy all that so many times over, but if I stack more bread, I could buy all that three and four times over. And if I ride the streets, I could see cars that are costing anywhere between 10, 15, maybe 20 thou. And at some point in time, I'll be able to get that. I told y'all at the end of the day, whatever t whatever you tell yourself is whatever what you will become. So if you tell yourself, I am rich, regardless of how much money you're sitting on, that's what your subconscious will constantly tell you. And it's what your, the world, the universe will actually manifest and give unto you. You'll actually become a rich person. You won't know how it's going to come. And don't worry about the HOW. Just know and understand that if you put your mind to it, you get that goal at the end of the day. You just got to know and understand, make your decision and make it concrete. Don't, don't be on a little teeter-totter, you know what I'm saying? Don't be halfway in, halfway out. No one understand if you want a certain amount of bread saved, if you want a business, if you want to financially be wealthy for the rest of your life, you got to make that decision and make it accordingly. After the decision is done, the universe starts working on whatever you manifest. So by manifesting it, you want to add your I am, because whatever you add to I am is what you become. I am strong. I am successful. I am rich. I am wealthy. Whatever you add to I am is what you become. Don't forget that. Y'all know what it is. We out.